not you again. Has it been a year already? Oh, I, I, I just can't speak at the moment. I've got a dreadful hangover. Oh, if you could just bear with me for one second, please. Oh, dear. Right. Hello there. We're going to do things very gently and very quietly today. I've got a dreadful hangover. No, it's got nothing to do that I went to a party however many days ago it was and I've still got a hangover from it because I just continue drinking. It's nothing to do with that whatsoever. And of course, I am not affected by things like that at all. Uh, you two have got hangover. Oh, well, that makes two of us then. Most surprising. Well, at least we have one thing in common. And the fact that you are coming here a year later, I mean, how has it been a year already? It can't be. I think I'm seeing things actually at the moment. Am I, are you really there? Is it you, that person who comes every single year for a haircut? That very highly rude, unwanted individual who's made themselves incredibly unwelcome again. It's you, right? Right. So what is it you would like done today? Just remember, nothing too over the top, okay? It's a hangover haircut for you today. Right. So you, you need to freshen up and you are new to you. How long has yours lasted for? A few days as well. Oh gosh. Must have been some party really. Okay. I think we can do that. So I'm going to give you a very gentle trim on top of your head. I can see that. Things have got a little bit long there. A little bit long there. As well, yeah, we can smarten. Yeah, smarten you up there and there, that's for sure. Have you ever had a hangover haircut before? Please just lower your voice a little bit. You're flying all over the place at the moment for me, so just, you know, I need to keep nice and relaxed so I can keep the scissors nice and still. You haven't. Well, a hangover haircut includes amazing cures for hangovers and it will make you feel better. And whilst we go through the process, I, I had already started the process for me uh, when you walked in, so it's going to be a jaw thing, okay. Right, let me just... This is a, 
a remedy to help you feel better. Okay, so this is called special. Well, I won't tell you, you'll be able to smell it, okay? It starts off with this first. Just to breathe it in. There we go. So it's all about hydrating and making your face work properly again, as you can probably notice. Mine is still a victim of a hangover face at the moment, so. at the moment that would be really great just keep nice and still perfect right and we'll just spray a little bit on there that's all it takes right I've got something for you There, that one looked too good. Okay, can I get you another one? Right. Okay, this one's yours. Okay, so keep it nice and hot there. Rub it together, I assure you, it makes you feel a lot better. It really does wake you up. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll it over. so much better. Yeah, just let it soak in water your skin, you know. Classic case of a hangover is all of those. 
feathers and got into your skin and made you feel dreadful on the inside and outside as well. So you have to do everything in your power to rehydrate. You've got to replenish and rehydrate and feel relaxed and let it steam and do its work and we can begin. Oh God. There we go. Well, it feels good, doesn't it? Good. that you went, that you picked up this hangover for such a long time. Sounds a bit similar to my place. You went, you, you turned up late to a party, right? And because you were late, you drunk about three times more than you normally ride, I see. You know? Well, if you, of course, enjoy yourself too much, then Sometimes a hangover can last for days and one doesn't feel oneself. Does one? Okay, just keep brushing here. I think we'll brush through and we're gonna create something amazing if you stop spinning all over the place. That'd be great if you keep it nice and still. Okay, I seem to feel a little bit better actually. And uh, there must be all the sprays and everything. I told you there's something good in there. And it's not alcohol. Right. So, I have 
have my very special scissors here and these are a little bit more safety scissors so if I switch between hands I've got the guards here and here as well for extra support because when you've got a terrible hangover like I have then you'd want to make sure that you you know got your wits about you etc etc okay so let's get you nice and trimmed up and cut here shall we loud for you. Well, I knew what would finally happen for me, but I appear to have uh, taken a bit of a U-turn and made a miraculous recovery. No doubt part of my procedure. I mean, I have been at it for literally uh, a few hours before you came to try and rehydrate and rejuvenate, etc, etc. But of course it is self-inflicted, so you only have yourself to blame. Right. Unfortunately, some people just, just can't you know, handle going out and having a good time and then just overdo it. See, no doubt you were trying to fit in a little bit or something like that. I don't know. Probably turned up in your your tux or whatever it was that you did. <laughs> well, there you go then. You just really wanted to, you know, overdo it a little bit. Yeah, okay. And so let's just continue the cut. So what we're doing here is just layering up here. That's smarting up, it's smarting up really nicely. Same again, we will do the same over here, but uh, once I've done it, we'll, we'll create this real nice flick over there, and it'll, it's gonna go over your head, and it's gonna look very good, I assure you.
very suitable. Everything is coming together nicely. But of course, part of a hangover air guard is that you have to make sure that throughout the process you're always going to be feeling relaxed and, and everything is there to hydrate and make you feel steamy and, and your passageway is nice and clear. It's all about out with the old, in with the new. So you need more spray.
100% I'm still quite able to create masterpieces and once again I've created something spectacular from chaos and I've created basically art on the top of your head yeah that looks so much better and a lot more fresher for you there as well notice how your whole being looks so much more alive and and presentable and approachable of course when you walked in here let's just say you were a little bit well my eye was a little bit foggy myself but if i was me now as i was then then let's just say i probably would have just guided you to the chair and let you have a little sit down and then guide you back out and uh, you could have come back another day or something like that because really who goes for a haircut when you've got a hangover i mean Right, I think it's time that you add another. Hold the towel here. Okay. Yeah, I mean it just freshens up your whole being. Okay. Taking the liberty of infusing this with malt whiskey, okay, just to freshen up the smell here for you. Right. That's it. Keep nice and relaxed. But of course it's not malt whiskey. What for a hangover? You insane. No. It's a uh, lavender with a bit of mint added in there as well. Good for your skin and for your sinuses also. There we go. Just let it steam. I'm going to gently massage. Okay.
also still for me. for creating go back to normal. I think I'm pretty much there at the moment, so brush, brush, and I'm going to brush your ears and you feel just a real nice sensation around that area. Oh. Well, 
what bit you want. You just have to um, find out, won't you? Right, well, before I'm going to let you go, I think one more spray water sort you out. So remember, deep breath as I spray it around you and make it, may, let it make you feel good, right? So.